writer chick coming to you once again thank you so much for joining me if you are watching on youtube thank you for checking me out and i have a lovely guest with me today you've seen her before but feel free to interest, uh, introduce yourself again please hi my name is shamita davis if you don't know by the label below i am a business owner inspire you jewels i'm also a mother of two sons i'm originally from shreveport louisiana but i live here in Little M, Texas. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. And y'all know me. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, today's episode is actually kind of like a bounce off of an episode we did a few weeks ago where Miss Davis was here and we were talking about moms and needing a break. And one thing that we pointed out on the episode was about feeling your best and putting yourself as a priority. And then a point was made that sometimes it's hard to do because of well, money, we can say it. We can say it a lot. Sometimes it is hard to do because of money. Um, the things that make you feel your baddest and your finest cost a lot of money sometimes. So <laughs> the ladies had a brilliant idea to have an episode where we just kind of discuss um, ways to, I hate to be cliche, but be a baddie on a budget. You know, and you can take that how you will. Like um, how to feel and look your best, even if your money is in distress. I like that. <laughs> Okay, how to feel and look your best, even if your money is in distress. <laughs> and as a single mother for now, almost fifteen years, um, you you pick up you pick up some tricks and some tips along the way. It is really just survival, but you never stop to think that another woman might need these things. So, what I want to start with today is, you know, black women. You know how we coming about the crown of glory is hair. <laughs> we got to start with the hair. So, um. I say in the past decade, a lot of people have been embracing their natural hair and going natural, if you will. But even natural hair products cost a grip. Like, you know, we went natural hoping it would be cheaper and the answer was hell to the nah with that. <laughs> so, I... <laughs> you know, I'm going to grow this hair for our baby. <laughs> Anything that's going to keep that hair moisturized is going to be expensive. So, uh... <laughs> but real talk, though. But, um... Okay, so what are some tips that you may have for the girlies out there um, on how to keep the hair laid and slayed, even if the money is tight? Girl, YouTube videos. Facts. Look at some YouTube videos. There's so many styles. Um, I remember during the pandemic, uh, you know, coming out here in Texas, the water is different. You know, the water is uh, really hard out here, and it was hard on my hair. Mm. And I was trying to figure out ways to do my hair without having to bother it. And YouTube showed me, baby, you can go get you a 5 to $10 bag of individual crochet braids, do them all different kind of ways, style them, and put them in your hair and go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube University, I actually wrote that down. Um, and also kitchen stylist, you know, if, if a salon stylist is too much for you to afford, kitchen stylist, believe in them. Uh, if it weren't for kitchen stylist, my head would have been toe and up um, the whole while I lived in Shreveport. They're harder to find out here in Texas, to be honest. I maybe found like one. Everybody's licensed out here. But um, like me, I'm sorry, like Miss Davis was saying, um, YouTube University. Um, when I first had my oldest son, you know, I think the invisible part was really big. And, you know, just for little protective hairstyles like that, um, unless you knew somebody that did hair who would do it for very cheap, you kind of on your own if you ain't got the hundred plus to get nobody's <laughs> salon and it ain't tax season. So YouTube University, like it doesn't hurt. There are so many videos there. It really anything you want to do, you can learn how to do on YouTube and it's free. So we're going to start with YouTube University now. Um, <laughs> Miss Davis actually can do a little bit of hair. I can't even so much as braid. So it was very, <laughs> it was very challenging for me. But I knew I was 20, 21. I knew I didn't want to look busted and disgusted 24 7. So some sometimes when I was learning the invisible part, the part would be kind of wide. It would be, you know, the Red Sea parted. Uh, <laughs> but with practice, with practice, you will get it down. Like, do what you have to do to keep yourself looking nice. Um, nowadays, 
because invisible parts are kind of out. Some people still do them. Um, really, lace front is the thing. So, as you know, a lace front wig, lace front 360 HD, there's so many different kinds, and they're all pretty expensive. Um, and then there's the install. So, for a decent lace front wig that is human, you might be looking at 100 This is a cheap, the cheap end. It's like $120 up to maybe... Four hundred dollars, and then the install can be from what ninety nine dollars to like two hundred dollars. So at any given time, shoot, that's five hundred. Like you ain't always got that. So, pardon me, y'all. I got a little bit of a cold. Before we go any further, I want you to to know, ladies, if you have never heard of Afterpay or I think it's Klarna, is it? Yep. Believe in them; they are your friends. I hate, I hate so much that that wasn't available when I first had kids, baby. Afterpay. My therapist is actually who told me about Afterpay because I had just got a nice little job and I wanted to get like a fall wardrobe, but I was busy doing other things at the time we were moving. And she was like, "Have you ever tried Afterpay?" And I'm like, "What the? When is that?" And she's like, "Next time you go on the website, look and see if they have that method of payment." And they did. <laughs> <laughs> And they did. And, I, and when I say, girlies, Fashion Nova, but we'll, we'll get there. We're talking about hair still now. But yeah, um, as far as installs go, okay, once again, YouTube University. Can I be honest? The best install I ever had was by my sister, and she learned on YouTube and did it once for our trip to Miami. And I actually have had professional installs, but hers was the best. And I was like, who told you what you learned? I just got on YouTube and, and got the supplies and learned. Well, why did you sell it? <laughs> <laughs> but she had me laid. And truth be told, her wig actually stayed on for almost two weeks, whereas some of these professional galleys, your wig be off in a few days. So there's nothing wrong with YouTube University. If you buy the bundle, like, okay, get you the little package that has the lace glue, the lace tint, the, the mousse and all that in it for like $30. That's a one-time investment to reinstall your weed. You need to put, where I'm getting a package deal of that from. Okay, I just actually ordered one off Amazon. It was $30. And it came with, let me see, lace tint and mousse, melting spray. It came with, um, what's that, edge control, two edge control brushes, one of the little strappies that you put on. Yeah, just look up melting spray. Girl. To my girlies See, out there, if, if, yeah. Because so this is a lace front I have on, but it's not melted, it's not glued, it's not none of that. I don't yep. know. See, I done hair, but when I was doing hair, I had short hair. Yep. There was no such thing as a lace front, nothing. And I had no choice because when I would go to the hair salon to get my hair done, I didn't want my hair to mess up. I wanted to keep my style. Right. So I used to get my curling irons and practice on how to curl my hair. So hmm. short hair was my specialty. Long hair, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I remember having short hair. Baby in the ho- uh, heartbeat. Now, can I, can I say one thing? Yes, ma'am. Public. It's not public? No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on. I'm over here. I'm over here spreading the love like crazy. And I'm looking like... Oh, my bad, my bad. I couldn't get it on my business page. Okay, I'm sure. I'm, it's public now. My apologies, y'all. Okay. Okay, so it's public now if you want to share the show. But, um, yes, get you um the lace tint. That's what colors the tint. If you don't know, if bleaching knots and all that shit is above your pay grade and you don't know how to do it, get you that mousse, that tint mousse. Okay, get the melting spray and be on your way. And here's the beautiful thing. Glueless wigs, uh, websites like Unice, that's where I got this unit from, they have Afterpay. <laughs> so if you don't quite have the $300 up front to get you know, an HD you know, 360 wig, you can just put down $60 today and then pay $60 next month, yada, yada, yada. You make four payments. And that is how Afterpay works. So I'll get you a nice, I got me a nice little fall wig. I had like a copper curly wig for the fall. I got me this little raven bust down, you know, for the end of winter coming into spring. And it paid like $70. And then I'll pay another 70 next month, et cetera, et cetera. So if on a budget and you want that lace front look, and maybe you can't afford the full price of a lace front and an install, either get a glueless and get the kit. 
or learn how to install them and get, just get the kit for that too. So either way, it's, it's good to, to know how to install, but glueless wigs are your friend if you do not know how to install. Mm-hmm. And especially if, if you go to somebody that takes PayPal, Mm-hmm. If you PayPal pay later. Now I don't recommend this for everybody, but I do have PayPal credit. You get zero interest rate for six months. So if really, <laughs> if if you qualify for this, I'm about to say I think I tried to get a card with them, but the time I didn't qualify. So, <laughs> but that's why we're here to talk yeah, about I if you on a budget. I'm on Amazon right now. I use a firm and I get a whole year. I paid off a phone, mm. but still. Nice. Oh, yeah. And another thing is, if maybe wigs are not your get down and you want natural hair, you know, or just good old fashioned wigs and weaves, um, go to beauty schools. You actually can go and get your hair done by beauty school students for half the price. That's in, in Texas and Shreveport as well. Um, you can just schedule an appointment. Some of them accept walk-ins, but, and this is, if you, for the mommies that have boys, um, when money was tight or when I was in between jobs, I would take my boys to barber schools and they would do the haircuts for about $5 a piece. So it is a thing. Um, you can keep yourself and your family looking nice by the head. If you're on a budget, believe in beauty school. And here's the thing. There are some beauty school students that are extremely cold. Like they might've been prodigies and they're just needing to get the licensing. And they're in school and you can go, you know, get that same install that you would have had to pay Sheila's unprofessional behind for, uh, you know, her hundred dollars to, you know, two hundred dollars if you're late five minute fee, you know, and then just go holler at Keisha at the beauty school for like twenty five, fifty dollars. So keep that in mind. Beauty school, y'all. And uh, barber schools for the boys. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. Now that we've talked hair, I think that sums up everything for hair. So, um, like we were saying, glueless wigs, um, websites like unice.com. I think, are there, where do you get yours from? I use unice. Oh, uh, this one, actually, my mom, my mom recommended it. <laughs> it's Love Me Hair. Love, okay, love them me too. Hair. Them too, yeah. It was pre, pre cut, pre plugged, all that good stuff. But I don't know anything about. <laughs> Anything about plucking, cutting the lace, nothing like that. So, right. I and just, you know what? I just thought about something. You might stumble ac- across a hustle and another source of income while you're sitting here trying to just look good on a budget. It wouldn't hurt them. You can become a kitchen stylist. <laughs> if, I, if I could pay somebody to cut my lace, I would be, I would be just fine. Because mm-hmm. I don't know what I did to it. It was when I got it, it was too far up here. My hairline don't come all the way up here. So I cut it and I think I cut it wrong, but hey, it's wearing. Right. My thing is, I have a very large head for a lady. Uh, I'm like six feet tall, so I wear like an eight in hats. Um, and so sometimes these wigs don't be quite, the earpiece anyway, do not be quite reaching for me. So sometimes you just got to get in where you fit in and adjust and do a little swoop in a bag and uh, <laughs> and make it work. But yeah, remember you guys, glueless wigs, uh, you nice, love me hair. They do accept PayPal and Karna. So even if you don't have all the money up front, even if you don't know how to install a wig, get a glueless unit. They, they do work. All right. So we're going to move on to clothes. You want some cutie outfits for the season. Um, first of all, the best time to buy for a season is preseason. Um, if you really, really want to be ahead, you know, and have your seasonal wear ready to go the following season, like for the fall, get those early winter or when spring is wrapping up. Cause they'll be what? 75% off. They'll be 50% off instead of waiting till October and you got to pay full price. Just saying same thing with summer clothes. Like, um, once the winter is, you know, coming in, get them bathing suits and stuff on, you know, on sale then. Let's see here. Sherry Rich says, uh, Sherry said, barber school definitely saves me money. Yes. It is a real lifesaver because especially out here, little boys' haircuts have gotten expensive. I pay fifty dollars at their barbershop. And I, I best believe that ten dollars at the barber school felt a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> we went going to barber school before I left three point fifteen dollars. Mm. I was so like, me because when I was natural, you know, I was getting a cut. So yeah, I yeah, get that shortcut. <laughs> right. <laughs> In Shreveport, the boys' hair was about ten dollars. We moved out here; it bumped up to twenty. So then, between 
December and January, they bumped up to 20, 25 ahead. I was like, ooh. And also, another thing I didn't mention, like you said, in uh, the pandemic, a lot of people started picking up skills. Mommy's out there. Go ahead and invent. Now, it's a little different. You know, you can, you, can t- you can you can take a wig and a weave off, but you fuck somebody's head up. That's it. But you can buy <laughs> you can buy a set of clippers and an edger, and you could learn how to cut that hair yourself. Yep. Don't mess yep. some baby heads up though. Don't do it. I mean, just something to consider. Um, you know, because YouTube University is available in men's care too. Like a lot of barbers got they um you know, got that YouTube on during the pandemic and those videos are still up. So mommies, it doesn't hurt to have that skill. If one day that fifty dollars ain't there and you want your baby looking right, you know, do a little practice here and there. But <laughs> all right, on to clothes. So anyway, um batty on a budget, like we were saying, a good way to save money is to buy the stuff pre season. But if you're unable to do that or if you forgot or if you just came up on that good paying G- good paying gig and it's falling you fall clothes. Now, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova and she in from Fashion Nova. Girl, you haven't lived, girl. What? And then it's affordable. That's the thing. Even if you don't use PayPal, you can still come in Fashion Nova with a hundred dollars and leave out like five or six pieces. I think my son bought me a sweet suit for me. I'm going to watch YouTube <laughs> and learn how to cut his hair. It's thirty dollars for the area. Ooh, thirty dollars a head? Oh no! <laughs> Thank goodness JJ got locks. <laughs> They both get locked in, but they still you still need an edge and stuff with locks. Who is the one they locks? I do them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Mommy's out there. Okay, so I didn't know how to start locks, so I did pay for someone. But I looked on YouTube and learned how to do the retwist, and I've been keeping them with his locks since he got them done. Hmm. There's three different methods, and they all easy. <laughs> you use the comb. You do the little between the hands, or you do them at the root with your hand, but. If your kid or if you got locks, learn how to do a retwist on your own. That's funny. Hey, Miss Brenda. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> okay, so Fashion Nova is probably, you know, at first Fashion Nova caught a lot of flack, just like Rainbow. You know, back back in the day, everybody said Rainbow was super cheap and always had bullshit to say, you know, anytime women find a nice little place where they can get some cute clothes, here go people talking about it. But <laughs> When Cardi B mentioned in her song that she shops at Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova took on a whole new persona. Not one just for broke bitches who couldn't da 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 da. No, even the celebrities are wearing Fashion Nova. So after that, Fashion Nova blew up. <laughs> That's how it always happened, though. That's how it always happened. But honestly, Fashion Nova was never bad. But sometimes you just need that celebrity push. So once that celebrity push came along, Oh, it's okay to shop at Fashion Nova. It is. And the clothes are actually cute. And they do have cute stuff for men and women. And once again, dun, 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 they accept afterpay. And even if you don't have afterpay, it's affordable. Like like I said, you can come in there with $75 and leave out with at least four pieces. like Or more, depending on what you get. Yeah, because I used to shop at Rainbow. Um, and Rainbow is still around, sister. you know. I, I live up super Rainbow. Body <laughs> City tra- like I'm, I'm a city trend. City trends used to catch a lot of flack, but I'll pull up in the city trends. Yeah, I don't have a problem with city trends. <laughs> city trends. Hey, city bro. trends is fashion for less. I'm speaking to the people when they come in and say, "Hey, I'm sorry." No, no, do your thing. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank y'all for tuning in. And also, ladies, if you have any tips that we're not mentioning, drop your gems in the comments. We trying ain't no gatekeeping around here. We're trying to help everybody. So yeah, if y'all yeah, if y'all got some tips, Not drop both. the tips in the uh in the chat. But um she in. Okay, if I can't find some on Fashion Nova, I'm gonna she in. The only reason I like Fashion Nova more is because they quicker. If you got an event in three days, you can't get your shit <laughs> in three days. Yeah. Like oh, so I didn't know Fashion Nova was quicker because uh I think I ordered a pajama outfit from mm-hmm. Shein and it took two weeks and I said, Oh, that's okay, I'm gonna be ordering from them again. I don't care how cheap they is. I did it forgot, you know, <laughs> got, you know all that stuff. And you know, we got what you call them, Porsche Pirates. No, somebody would came back here, swipe my stuff, and I'll be, I'll be upset. I don't care. Oh, if no. <laughs> so what I do, because the stuff, okay, if you're getting after, if you're using Afterpay anyway, go ahead on and pay the $12 for express delivery. 
you ain't paying me thirty dollars today anyway. You might as well go ahead and pay for express delivery, and um, then your she in will be there in less than a week. I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> I like my Amazon got me spoiled. I like my stuff quick. I am not gonna wait yes. no week or no yes. two weeks yes. if you have express delivery. Next couple days, next day, depending on what it is. You got it's you five. got five days. Five. I got four. <laughs> but here's I the have thing: Prime because of my business, so when mm-hmm. I order business supplies, I use Prime. So I use it for personal stuff as well. Same. <laughs> And I don't know how Amazon uh missed the list, but baby, it's so much you can find on Amazon. Like this kit, the kit we were talking about, the lace front kit, that's on Amazon. Mm-hmm. So the wig, you can buy glueless wigs on Amazon. I just prefer a wig site that, for me. But um, so back to the clothes. She in for me, they have more of a selection. Like Fashion Nova got good stuff. Don't get me wrong, but she in is cheaper and they have more of a selection. But like you said the shipping does take longer so excuse me that's the only downside and sometimes they clothes do run a little bit smaller she in i've never had that problem with fashion over but she in sometimes you know that one x two x is more like a xl you know ladies in the comments where do y'all shop to get y'all in inexpensive uh wear y'all clothes where do y'all shop let us know, cause like I ain't gonna lie, I stick to them too. I, they ain't led me, they ain't led me astray yet. Like I might do five and below, like this graphic tee I got on, this Marvel yes, shirt. I had gotten a shirt, yeah. some shirts from them too. The shirt I had on earlier, but I was supposed to be looking like a bad today. So. <laughs> yeah, for your baddie wear, yeah, you go to she in. <laughs> baddie on the budget. I said, okay, I gotta get my act together. Yeah, yeah. But for my graphic tee girls, my anime shirt girls and stuff like that, five and below. Five and below really is yes. stepping their game up. Like at first yeah, I was like they about to open one down the street for me. I just hate. Okay. Like at first I thought they were a glorified Dollar Tree. So I was like, I got Dollar Tree, what I need to go there for. No. No. Five and below got their own they own thing. Oh, going I right. do have another tip. There is some ladies that do vlogging and they will go to inexpensive pl- places and put on outfits and t- and link those things. One lady named Samita, Samita's found something like that. I hmm. can't remember her name, but that is how I found this dress. Okay. She wore it in different in a different color. It's now nine dollars on Walmart site. Okay. Now I will tell you, it's in juniors, so, but. Uh, she does like diff- she does Target, she does Amazon, she does Walmart, and she puts on the outfit and they okay. look cute. I'm okay, gonna have so. to find her information, but she's mo she's on Facebook, she's on Instagram. I I hadn't checked out TikTok, but she's oh, okay. on there. So if anybody wants the link, let me know and I'll drop it down there. Okay. Uh, Miss Brenda says she shops at Amazon and I have online catalogs. Okay. Yeah. Hello to everyone in the comments who may have came um, in recently. Thank you for joining us. Also, speaking of that, don't be above thrifting. Like if you're if you're too good for Goodwill, okay. There's um, what's some other thrift places? Because I'm not too good for Goodwill. I, I, <laughs> like if you okay, if you have a friend that is a stylist, or if you have a friend that knows how to put that shit on, get her to come with you to Goodwill, and she can hook you up and find the pieces that you can actually do something with. Now, is everything in Goodwill fabulous? No, <laughs> no. But does that mean everything is garbage? No, ma'am. Like, and especially depending on what neighborhood you're in, depending on what area of town you're in, this Goodwill could have. You know what I'm saying? Like top quality. And then if you over in Juella, off of Juella, <laughs> you know, in Shreveport or somewhere, you're probably going to get, you know, the moth bitten. And <laughs> but You're depending right, on where you at, God. depending on where you at, like in Arlington, that Goodwill over there is really nice. The furniture is nice and so is the clothes. Like it's just people who got money getting rid of their stuff that they no longer wanted. It wasn't bad stuff. It just, they got new stuff. So they wanted to do something with the old stuff so don't be too above goodwill especially if you're a thrifty girl or if you have like a a vintage aesthetic goodwill <laughs> for real like uh what's the one for children what's it called kids are us or kid to kid kid to kid is another good one for you moms out there um 
you can get polo outfits and all types of stuff at Kids to Kids. It's just women that have children that their kids got a little big, they gave the clothes away. Goodwill is more so where people try to get rid of shit, but Kids to Kid is a little more. Most of the clothes have to have spandex in them. You got to have spandex. Good ass dress. For me, I know that. For my plus size, for my XL and up out there, okay? Like, um, <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? Ashley Stewart? Is that the name of it? I don't know, but she's too expensive for me. So, Fashion Nova it is. <laughs> they, um, now she I'm in, so she fast, in. See what I can get, honey. Oh, girl, such cute. I'm talking about every season. Every season. And my tall girlies, because I'm six foot. If you need jeans, Fashion over tall. I kid you not, they come down to my feet. <laughs> Wait, they you come out down to my feet. You said fashion over so many times in this life, we gonna be seen. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be everywhere. You can scroll through news feed, it's gonna be everywhere. What's too expensive? Your spending? No, I think you're talking about Ashley Stewart. Is that what you're talking about? Ashley Stewart, okay. Ashley, okay. See, there are certain lines that are designed for you know, the plus size girlies and the tall girlies, but it's, they're very expensive. They know what they're doing. They know that, um... Let me tell you, y'all still be looking cute, cute. I'll be like, okay, I ain't trying to be funny, but when I go in and look at something and I'm like, what? It's cute. Then I look at it, dang it, plus size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ashley, Ashley Stewart, baby, you got to, uh... You got all on <laughs> you gotta pick up a second job to get three outfits from Ashley Stewart. Meanwhile, uh, Fashion Nova they do go up to a four X, and she in I believe goes up to six X. But <laughs> be <can> <laughs> and honestly, her stuff ain't always even cute. It's kind of like auntie cute, like it's older lady cute. And Fashion Nova's a little bit younger, so I mean, you know. But um, who else? I just wrote down them too because I ain't gonna lie, they they get me right, like. If people feel like they cheap, it is what it is. It's really about I how you put the stuff on. I do want to say something. I hope men come in here and watch this video because even though you not the baddie, <laughs> okay, I know your daughter is not, you ain't going to think of her as no baddie, so this, this is beyond that. But there may be some tips to help your, your young daughter to help her find things she needs. And also, Agreed. y'all know y'all be late on this Valentine's Day and anniversary gifts. If you want to get something inexpensive real quick, you better be in here getting this tip. I'm just saying. I agree. <laughs> I thought about having a man on here to kind of, um, you know, help the fellas out. But I don't know. We'll see. They tend to be more, they don't want to look like they look, you know, they want to, it's different for women. It's different. So, <laughs> you know, they want to be the ballers and the shot callers. We just want to be cute. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I had that issue in my business. A lot of people don't know that we do sell men accessories, mm-hmm. uh, either child or urban, most consulting advertising as unisex. I I usually say men, and the reason why I do that is because men often complain and say we leave them out. So okay. I want them to understand that I do have accessories for you, but if you don't buy them, the women will, and they will put some earrings and braces, bring it with it and wear it. Now, Hello. some of them, they will order their husband or their sons or their nephews some pieces, but I'm just telling you, some of our stuff for men is nice. Now, I know there's a certain style yeah. for men that they're not going to wear, like the chains and the chain braces, but like our beaded braces. There's a lot of men I've been seeing when Wear those beaded braces, yeah. They're that, spiritual, yeah. I order those all the time, but if I don't see men shopping, the women going to have that thing. That's true. That's true. And actually, even the stores like Fashion Nova and She In, okay, if any fellas are in here and you want and you want that sleek Chelsea boot look, baby, she in. If the Chelsea, if the hundred dollar Chelsea boots are too much, she in does sell their own version of the boots and no one can tell the difference. But my y'all know how y'all be. Y'all know how y'all be. Hmm? My son shot them. I just got my nephew three and four sh- uh, graphic shirts and some of them slide in foam sandals that the kids is wearing off of Fashion Nova. All of that stuff costs less than fifty dollars. I got him three shirts and some sandals. So yes, fellas, y'all actually can shop at these sites too. But if you want to be name brand Bagram, then go off, have at it. You know, <laughs> keep letting Chelsea have all your money when she ain't got them same boots in four different colors for the. <laughs> 
I'm and just that's saying. why it's so hard for business owners to make money because people want to be with brands, and I'd be like, okay, look now. Oh, not I said the brown cow. You didn't, you didn't pay $200, $300 for something that you told up or lost or whatever. <laughs> don't, don't even look all that. Like, if you know, how, okay, before we move on from clothes, it's really about knowing how to put that shit on. So, Truth yeah. be told, get you bought. Even Steve Harvey said it. And I, I'm, well, after this, we done with the fellas. But even Steve Harvey said, if you get you like, four, I think it's four suits and there's four solid different colors and mix and match them, you in there. It was like navy, um, some kind of tan, of course, all black. And he was like, just mix and match those pieces. And ladies, it's really not much different. If a whole... When I used to shop for clothes, when I finally got me a little job where I could shop, I got overwhelmed because it's like, what do I get? What don't I get? Get you pieces. Believe in pieces that you can mix and match. If all you guys are $100, get you two good pair of pants, make sure they're a solid color or jeans. Maybe get you two shirts and like a jean jacket or a vest, something that you can mix and mingle all, you know, and make you five and six outfits out of this one time shopping with $100. Work smarter, not harder. Like for real, because if I if you're a set girly and everything has to be a set, then you get into the point where we've we've seen that set six times. Because <laughs> you know, and it's like dang, every time we see you get that set on, but uh, <laughs> but you paid a hundred dollars for the set, right? So you got to wear it. You got to wear it because you didn't pay your seventy five dollars for the set when you could have got you two pair of fashion over jeans and three t shirts and like a little jacket. And switched it up, but now you got to wear the Chanel set everywhere you go because all your money went into Chanel. Like, believe in pieces. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Believe in pieces. Brand, I'm not a brand girl. I'm not even into bags. I'm not even. I'm not saying I would never want it. I'm just saying my mindset is like where I'm mm-hmm. in life. That's where I need to. I need to be focused. At. My priorities is not the name. There are yeah. things that I would love to do, but when it's time, it's time. You know what right. I'm saying? I understand. Like, like I said, once I got that nice little job and I just wanted to look presentable, I'm more of a, I'm a purse girly, but I wear a purse to the straps fall off. Like, <laughs> kudos to the ladies that switch purses every day. I, I have nothing against you. I think that's awesome. I'm not at that place yet. If I got me one good bag, I could fit all my shit in there and it's presentable. And I usually get like a neutral color, like a black, like a brown, something that goes with everything. I'm wearing that purse till the straps come off. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> we always got that. You sure? I sure do. Because it goes with everything is black. Now, let me ask you something. <laughs> don't, don't some people take their purses and resell them? And yes. Then, my well, sister does. Okay. My sister does. I know outlets sometimes have, you got to wait till they put it on clearance. But sometimes outlet stores have good prices on name brand purses. But I'm just not. I'm not it's a web. Here. Aside from eBay, it's another website where it's nothing but bags. Uh, rent a bag is one. If you just have to have a quality top of the line bag, rent a bag will let you rent a name brand purse. I mean, rent means you got to give it back. But you can pay to have a Chanel bag for a certain amount of time. Then you give it. I think it's called rent a bag. Um, I wish Karma was on, was on here so I could ask her, but she resells her bags on a website. And you can, if you, if fashion, if you must be name brand, there are even ways to get name brand on a budget. Mm-hmm. So since we can't think of the website, forgive me for not being prepared. Just Google resold bags. You know, oh, it's you a website. Just, you can just drop it in the comments once you get it. Yeah, if one of you ladies has the name of that website, help us out. Cause like I'm like her, I don't really care. I wanted to treat myself to the tote bag, and that's not even an expensive bag, but it just it just looks like a nice bag. So I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to one, but it's like thirty dollars on Amazon. So depending on what size you get, but um, I think that's all for clothes. That's all I had written down was Fashion Nova and Shein. Cause for me, they get me right, and <laughs> and uh, like I said, I'm a plus size and a tall girly, and they get me right. Like anything Fashion Nova ain't got, Shein got. I just gotta wait longer for it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> but for real and then amazon like amazon can be pricey depending on what you're looking for but i'll yeah, go there yeah. first because they ship the quickest i'll go there first and if i can't find it or if they stuff is too grandma on the fashion nova i go <laughs> you know <laughs> on the fashion nova i go and sometimes fashion nova can get a little pricey so i'll you'll see me a she in and i'm gonna hit that express delivery and ain't nothing wrong with that so but um, if you ladies have any stores that you prefer, or if anybody gets the name of that website, please drop it in the comments. So, 
So we talked about hair. Let's talk about nails. And I'm glad you're here because Cuzzo is an expert on the nails. Um, am I a really big nail girly? No, that's just because I do so much with my hands. And, <laughs> and uh, but, do, but I think every, you know, not every lady. Like I said, I'm not a big nail girly. If they too long, I can't function. And that's when they start to get annoying. But does it feel nice to have your nails? Of course, your nails and toes, of course. Like, it, it turns you into a different person. Like, real yeah. talk. <laughs> no, I'm just going to let y'all know, I'm not no expert in no nails. Now, I used to go get my nails done all the time because that was something for me. Mm-hmm. But um, as being a single mom, I couldn't always do that. Yes, Fashion Nova does I have plus, uh, plus size. To answer yes. Miss Brenda, yes. I, I wish I had of known what I know now because me watching YouTube, I learned more about press on nails. Because when you hear press on nails, I always thought you put that sticker. And I'm like, oh, I can't do this because <laughs> I wash my hands all the time. I be fooling around with stuff. And these would be flying across the room. And Dang. actually, it was a YouTuber that I watched for makeup. Because that is where I started me in makeup when I was doing makeup. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, she was doing the press on nails. And once I started looking at the nails where she got them from, they were number drugstore nails. You can go get them at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, Kroger's, Target, wherever. You can go get, you can actually get them off Amazon. Yeah. I'm going to will tell you, be careful on Amazon because there's this one place I ordered some nails from and I got a whole nother set twice and I didn't realize it to the second time. That <laughs> nails and you gave me a whole different set. But these right here are kiss nails. Now I'm a long girl n- nail person. Okay. Okay. I like long nails. I like short I square. Decided, <laughs> yeah. I decided to do short because sometimes my son asked me to braid his hair and I was like, well maybe if I do them short and he need me to braid his hair I will see if it, I can braid them without them popping off. But these nails, depending on the style you get, they have them all with rhinestones and all that kind of stuff. You can get them from anywhere for $15 or less. These yep. nails, I think, cost me about seven or eight bucks, I think. Okay. But, um, shoot, you get them out the store, you might, now I'm going to be real with you, I don't use the glue that come in the box. I don't. I okay. bought some glue off of Amazon that uh, the YouTuber was using. It's a certain way she doing, and you put them on, and they have been on ever since. As soon as Courtney was like, hey, we um, you want to do bad and uh, <laughs> bad on the bad, yeah. I said, look, these boxes, box of nails been sitting over there for a month, and I was looking a hot mess, and I was like, so this means I need to be looking like a baddie, so I need to do my nails. Oh, so Lord. I, oh Lord! I went ahead and glued them on, and the pink dress been sitting up for months in in the uh in the bag. I took it out, washed it, and said, "Hey, here's the challenge. Look good." I ain't gonna lie, my I got dishpan hands right now. Okay, so no nails, sorry, ladies. But um, uh, for me, I just me and me and press hounds never get along, and I try my best to do what the videos say to do, and they still end up popping off. But um, I have noticed, um. With me being a little bit of a taller and bigger lady, I have bigger hands. So sometimes the nails usually don't even fit. But for my ladies with bigger hands, I found a trick for that. Get two packs. Just get go ahead and get two packs. So that way, the bigger nails, you'll have a double set of them. And all of them will fit instead of trying to fit your fingers in a little bitty petite So nails. let me ask you, when you put your nails on, what do you exactly do? Because maybe I can help you. Okay, so I know first they like you got to clean off your actual nail bed and then scrub it or buff it. Then buff the back of the nail. Then apply the glue. It's been so long since I did it, but apply the glue either inside the nail or directly to the nail and then hold it down. And you should be good. And I don't know. Not quite. Okay. That, that's, that's about what I do. What I do is um, I make sure I wash my hands, but I also use alcohol because you want to get any oils off the nail bed mm-hmm. and any debris that you, even if you think your hands clean, the alcohol will make sure of it. Okay. Once, once I do that, I file my nails, I buff it because that grit on there is going to attach. But I put glue on my nail bed and I put it actually on the nail. 
And okay. then I press it down, but I have a, a UV light that I got from Amazon. Oh. And I stick my right on up under there and dry it, but I press it. I let it go for for um 60 seconds, but it say only 30 seconds. Okay. Also, I push my cuticles back before I file it. And when I push my cuticles back, you know, it kind of lifts it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So when you put the nail on, you kind of push it underneath there so it gives you that more natural look. And you don't see the edge, edge around the nail. Ladies, can, take notes. If the, nail, if the nail is too big for your nail bed, shape it with a file. Just shape it with a file. Okay. That's see, mine be the opposite. Them things be too little. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, some of them they make me mad because I'll be like, I want more designs on my nails. Like these, you know what? Nails, I wanted more designs, but some of them wouldn't allow me to have it because it didn't have the size. Now I wish they would put a little sticker right here with a little tab on it with the numbers on it. Mm -hmm. But you because know what? Let me just say this right quick. My nail is 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 the same color, honey. You, or the I nail girlies. I just thought about this. You know how um we said during the pandemic. A lot of the nail ladies started making press on nails. So if you go to Etsy, yeah, I, that's E T S Y dot com, you can get a lot of press on like that look more design field, like you said, because the kiss yep, nails not gonna yep. be, you know, kiss is mass produced as opposed to somebody making, you know, making those nails by hand. So if you go to Etsy and some of the Amazon sellers too will have more detailed handmade nails. So check out Etsy if you want more detailed nails mm -hmm. and also Amazon too. So now I did used to, it's a young lady that did the press on nails for me. She customized them. Mm -hmm. um, I started with her because she was running a $10 sale. For $10? I on that. Uh, I don't think she really does them now. I and mean, then she probably don't do them now because business slowed down. But uh, her name is Press by, I think it's Pressed and lashed by Lily. I think that's what it is. But I used to get my custom, uh, custom nails from her. She also has uh, a website. If the website still up, yeah, I don't know. I have not gotten nails done by her uh, in a long in a time while. because okay. I like I'm very particular about my nails, and it's gonna cost me a little bit more. So I was like, girl, she she had you paying thirty dollars each set. No. <laughs> I'm not a lie, like, because I like rhinestones, uh -huh. all kind of stuff on my nails. No, nope, even when I go to the nail salon, I get basic acrylic, and they try to slip me with the job. But no thanks, they, you know. You to let, like, let, nope. let me tell you, I used to get no, no, no. all the time, like a solid all color. <laughs> I used to be like that. I wouldn't get no color. I wouldn't get nothing. And one day, this uh, the lady that used to do my nail, she said, let me try this on your nail. And she tried it, and I wore it. And ever since then, I've been like, oh, give me a design, give me yeah. a writing song. Give me Man, <laughs> the prices have went up. So for Christmas, I do like a like a red, green, red. Like, I switch it up for, like, Christmas. But other than that, I'm getting a solid color, short square. And it works for me. You know, I don't have anything. Again. I love to look at the nail art where the nails are out to here. And there's, you know, all types Just of blue. Just try it on one finger. One finger on each hand. Just try it one time. And that'll be $30. <laughs> Just for my... <laughs> I'm thinking you're talking about the whole set. No, ma'am. For the rhinestone, that'll be $30. Thank you. Just, you can have that back. Yeah. Solid color, yeah, square, short. Thank you. Get your own. You can get your own. I That's know true. I nail stuff that is... Uh, actually, I have some stickers. It's like little sticker sheets of rhinestone stickers. You can mm -hmm. take that, even though it's sticky, put some put some nail glue on there, put it on top of there, let it dry, put this it up under the light, and paint it. I've never tried it, but I just thought about it now because I do have a little stickers, jewel stickers I used to put on my face yeah. when I sell jewelry. So uh, you you can always try it, but I'm pretty sure that Amazon has rhinestone. I would hate to mess it up, like, but I, I would, I would think about that because I got rhinestones too. I use on my face when I do my FX makeup, so I think about that. How? Oh yeah, and aside, let's say, um, let's say you're not a nail girly and you just like maybe you just get acrylics, not acrylic, but like a late. What's it called when you just get like a something on your real nails? What's that called? Oh, I used, oh, I used to get that when I was in my twenties because my nails do grow pretty long. If that's more your style, you can get a dipping set. Like if you just if you just want your real nails painted very well, they do sell dipping sets on Amazon, a powder dipping set, and I do have one. 
I think it was like $25. It comes with different colors. You can choose whatever, you know, your color palette is. And you just do the dipping process at home. So that's an option as well. If fake nails is not really your thing, you can get your own dipping set. And they do do dip dip powder at the salons. So either way is fine. Um, okay, before we move on from nails, you got any more um, any more nail tips? Oh, your cousin said hello. Monte. Hey. <laughs> What's the name of the glue you use? Because I know you said you don't use oh, the box glue. I think it's Marquette. Marquette. I think that's what it's called. It's the in a um in a pink tube. Actually, the the lady that was customizing my nails, she sent me that glue one time, and I told her that glue you need to keep. Them other glues get rid of because that, that is the only one that kept my nails on. Because I wash my hands a a okay. lot and baby they will be popping off left and right and these <laughs> are the only ones you know yeah. i would be so frustrated i'm like i'm just gonna take them out <laughs> yep, that's I remember we had at our last apartment they had the toilet where you had to press down that button in the middle to flush it and nails just pop off. I'm like, I'm sick of this. <laughs> I use, when I use my when I have my long nails, I use my nook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tip for all the girlies out there. If if you're like me and long nails just complicate your life, use your knuckles. Use your knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about teeth. Okay. Um Teeth is really a big part of your everyday look. Girl, if your te- <laughs> teeth, oh my gosh, teeth. yes, teeth. That's a part that is a part of the look. Yeah, if your if your smile not right, you not feeling right. I understand that, and I've been there before. Um, after like forever of having braces, I finally got mine up, and uh, I feel great. Uh, and I, it definitely was worth the money and time. But um, for a long time, I could not afford braces, and then right now, veneers are really popular. Veneers, 3K a pop, and then you got to go to Puerto Rico or some shit to get them that cheap. So what are some alternatives that the baddies on a budget can use to keep their smile bright and pretty, maybe until they get the veneer money or, you know, or whatever in between? Um, One way that you can keep your teeth really white if you're between visits or maybe you don't quite have the money for the visit, um, there's a new new, um, product called oil pulling, some kind of oil pulling if you type in oil pulling on amazon it'll bring it up but you pretty much swish it around in your mouth for like 10 seconds and uh 10 seconds to a minute and it really does pull a lot of the bacteria out your teeth and also makes them really really white also if even that is too expensive for you and my dentist gave me this for a time because it was one time when i wasn't coming into visits as often as i should because they do cost and i told her that and she was like well in between if you want to keep your teeth white Get a cup of water, mix it with some peroxide, and and you know wash your mouth out with it, and um, that'll help keep your teeth white as well. So it's really just gargling. Do not swallow with uh, water mixed with peroxide, and it does work. So maybe oh, if the ni- okay. yeah if the ninety nine dollar cleaning is too much, peroxide and water. Peroxide costs about three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you said oil pulling it's not that expensive oh the oil pulling stuff isn't expensive either i got the um they offer a mouthwash that was like a dollar cheaper and i got that and it lasted for about a good month um and it works well too does the work uh does that work the oil pulling solution i have not i got their mouth i got their teeth whitening mouthwash and i enjoyed it like I used it all the way down to the bottom. The oil pulling is only a dollar more. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little scared of oil pulling, so I just got the mouthwash. Wait a minute. But um, what did you use? I it's the same brand that makes the oil pulling stuff. They have a teeth whitening mouthwash, and one side of it is peroxide. So I was like, okay, well this is what I'm doing anyway. It's like peroxide mixed with their concoction or whatever, and so it's got two barrels in it. But you just mouthwash with both, and it makes the teeth white. So. Hmm. But if you're on TikTok, you can if you're uncomfortable because I was I was a little scared of like I was like what all do we do? But uh, if you go on te- uh, TikTok, TikTok, Lord, TikTok, and look up the teeth, um, the oil pulling, there are people that will demonstrate it. Like on that's how I found out about it was TikTok. They demonstrate it on their videos. They show their teeth before, whoosh, 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 spit out, and then the teeth be white. So I mean. And also, it helps with stuff like gingivitis and um, gum swelling and stuff like that. Oh, okay. 
because of, I, because I, I, yeah. Tonight, I'm I just something. right. I just got my teeth cleaned uh last week, hundred thirty dollars, and that was without the lasers and shit, the extra stuff. And she, I was like, why is this so expensive? Oh, it's the first one of the year. You're deductible. I was like, mm hmm. This is whack. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so that's why I'm saying I'm giving those tips because I know what it feels like to not really have no hundred thirty dollars for no teeth cleaning. So if you can do uh, peroxide and water, or if you can do the oil pulling, you know, do what you got to do. Now, what's the brand that you was talking about? Because I'm looking at something called Guru. Guru yeah, that's it. That's it. Guru Nunama, whatever. <laughs> that's it. It starts with a G. And uh, okay, she said she saw it on TikTok. Yeah. That's where I originally saw it too. TikTok has some other thing. It's purple. I, I'm sorry I came unprepared. I should have had the names right now, but it's purple and uh, some kind of light reflective technology. But you put it in your mouth, the purple toothpaste, and you can just wipe it away with a napkin and it's immediately white. So I said, oh, that's I the next thing I'm going to try to buy. Wiping mouthwash. I see it. It is $12.79, baby. And that's a hell of a lot cheaper. Not saying you should not be going to get your teeth clean every three months, but if in between um, you still want to have that white look, that's definitely a, a much cheaper alternative. Yeah, I, 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 get, I get that. Okay, so then I'll, I'll be getting that for me and my sons. How about that? Right. <laughs> they get that on my <laughs> Okay, so that's for the teeth, ladies. Um. If you are, if the like, if the veneers you're uncomfortable with that, and you you know want to get stuff straight, look into braces. Um, get with your HR team, see how much a dental plan that includes orthodontics will be. For me, it's like six dollars a month, and uh, find you a pretty cheap and affordable dentist with a long term. Six dollars a month for what? Um, I could be exaggerating. I know it's less than fourteen dollars. But, um, you know, from my check for the orthodontist and dental care and, um, you know, and get you some braces. I've never paid more than $150 a month for the braces, which is, you know, maybe that's more affordable than paying three to four, three to five thousand dollars for veneers and um, just keep up with them. Do right by them. And then when they're done, be done with them. <laughs> you see the orthodontist? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know. That's that's why it took me so long to get into Dan, but uh, <laughs> but I finally come over the horizon, and uh, yeah, it, it's worth it. I mean, nothing wrong with veneers. I just wasn't comfortable with it. Like they whittle your teeth down to like a stub, and then put the the false teeth over it. I mean, and it it looks no good. Problem. I I I was thinking, I was looking at that. I was like, but what if something goes wrong with veneers, and I have to take them off? Or what if they big AF like? <laughs> Yeah, like I ain't gonna say his name, but uh, what's <clears throat> there? There are a few people that got the big edition, so um, I I just wanted to try with my actual teeth first and be patient <laughs> and go that route. I'm not taking knocks at anybody who decides to get veneers, but this this particular broadcast is for people on the budget. If you got it, by all means, get the veneers and be done with it. You know, go to a um a quality source. Don't be you know it's black market back alley everything. You can get mm-hmm. anything done in the in the back alley. I don't wow. think veneers should be the thing to get done in the back alley because <laughs> ain't no hiding teeth. Once they mess them teeth up, that's it. That's over. That's done. every time. Every time you open your mouth, hello, you know, and you could have just got yeah, braces you know, and been you patient. Gonna money, you gonna pay more money <laughs> fixing it than you is to getting it done. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And. <laughs> Also, for my people in Shreveport, we actually were talking about this before. Um, if you have Medicaid, you can get your teeth clean um, at different places with Medicaid, adult Medicaid. Um, in Texas, they do not accept adult Medicaid for teeth cleaning. So it was quite the wake up call when I got out here. But for my Louisiana people, yeah, you can get your teeth clean with Medicaid. So um, orthodontics, no, you're not getting. I maybe I don't want to tell you wrong, but I was not able to get braces with with Medicaid. So that's when I had to get you know, the dental through the employer. Because it's considered cosmetic. Right. Anything but, that yeah. alters your look is considered cosmetic to me, which I feel right. like is crazy. I think it's whack too, but hey, thanks for the free teeth cleaning. <laughs> so um that's all I've really got written down for teeth. So let's move on to makeup. Now I know everyone is not a makeup girly, 
Um, no one by any means is saying that you need makeup to be beautiful or feel beautiful. So before you natural warriors come up in here, I don't no, need no. makeup. <laughs> we can talk about it. We can talk about it. We can- <laughs> uh, we're not going to give them too much shine, but um, I'm, not a- <laughs> I'm not a, like, I-, I can go either or, you know. Now that I know how to do it, at first I didn't know how to do it. A lot of the makeup warriors, man, because they didn't know how to do it. And we're here to tell you, you can learn for cheap. So um, by no means am I saying any woman needs makeup to feel beautiful. But do you feel a little, uh, when you got that full beat, as opposed to just walking around the house bare face? When I got my makeup on, I love it. And I'm a different woman. (laughs) When I was wearing makeup all, you know, more often, I didn't wear it every day. Like some people, they will wear it every single day. I have skin issues, so I yeah. have to make sure that when I put that stuff on, I make sure I'm cleansing, I'm doing I'm doing everything properly, and yeah. when I'm taking it off. But I used to wear it for me. I don't Fact. I don't wear it for nobody else. And if I felt like I wanted to cover up a spot, that's what I wanted to do. That don't Fact. make me insecure because I decided to put something on the spot that they, they you heard it first you heard it first like i know we're gonna take a little sidebar real quick and come back i do know that society likes to say that women only wear makeup for men or blah blah blah, blah. no if i'm going on with my girl even when i had a boyfriend whenever we went on a date this face was beat so i mean it makes me feel good about me it's really a form of art and i'm not saying you have to like it or you have to wear it, but please sit down somewhere and let the women who do enjoy it enjoy it. And S T F U, shut the. Or is that correct? Shut the f up. Yes. They do the same thing with the with the hair. You know, it's the same it's thing. Yeah. They feel like it. Ah, and I'm like, baby, I do what is what I feel makes me feel. Do good. what this is for. Exactly. So let me reiterate. This is not to say that any woman, mother, single, or indifferent needs needs wigs, needs makeup, needs anything. This is just for if you enjoy those things and sometimes feel like, man, I can't indulge in them because of a budget. That is all. that We're not implying that. And don't come up in here. Oh, me no wigs. Baby, it's a 4C afro up under this hair. So get on somewhere. I can live in either world. But that's my choice. And for the women that choose to indulge in those things, let them enjoy that in STFU. Thank you. All right, back to the makeup. <laughs> now, you, now, makeup, I'm going to tell you, I, when I first started doing my makeup, I did all, hey, Miss Nelson, I did all hey, drugstore makeup. Oh, yeah, you beat me to it. it. It's, it's right here, yeah. I to be extra. I wanted to do the eyeshadow and all the different looks and all that kind of stuff. Look, let me tell you, the best way to do it is go in the store. If you need concealer, use the concealer as foundation. Mm-hmm. If you plan on contouring, go ahead and get, get the um, concealer that you highlight with, put it on there, and then what you contour with, put it on there and blend it together, and mm-hmm. then put powder on it. You've already killed the whole contour, the whole spot covering, all that kind of stuff. You have killed it all at once. You do not have to put foundation <clears throat> all over and do that, but you can if you want You can. To. You can. It's now, a choice. Some people yeah. have used just the powder uh, foundation. I I have not used that to do like a, a, a full like beat or nothing like that because uh, right here at T-Zone, be yeah. wet and y'all know what. <laughs> I prefer, yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a liquid girly. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did yeah. liquid. Yeah, liquid. and this is for my starting all the way outers. When I first was like, I just wanted to do makeup or learn a little bit of something, so that similar to this conversation, when I wanted to go out or had a you know meeting with the family or whatever, I could feel a little put together. You know what I'm saying? It, you look put together, and this is please don't take it the wrong way but you look put together when your makeup is dead right so i just wanted to learn that for me and um i started like we said earlier with youtube university i i didn't know nothing like <laughs> so i was starting from scratch the thing is men do the same thing certain outfits that you wear you you got to do something to make it come together. To, to, you know to make mean? it pop, yeah. yeah. To make it pop. And men, when they want to go dressed up, they want to go get that fresh line up. They want to go ahead and get their hair, the hair shaved. And nowadays, I feel like people need to stop, especially with these uh, uh, lace fronts. 
men are wearing for, for the, the balding and all that kind of stuff like that. So I just feel like don't judge us about what we do because now I see y'all doing it. Oh, yes. And you know what? Another topic for another day, but my cousin makes valid points. So <laughs> let's start with the makeup. Very valid, very valid points because chat anyway but um very valid point so for the ladies that have just you know sometimes to get a full beat they used to be kind of cheap and even even when it was kind of cheap kind of cheap it's still kind of expensive you're looking at fifty dollars up with inflation you're looking at a hundred dollars for a full face beat when you could invest a hundred dollars or less depending on where you go to get the makeup you need to do a full beat yourself i made a list and you can just add anything if you need to but um to just start start learning makeup to get everything you need i would suggest like like miss david said drugstore you don't start with fenty don't go out there and pay no 75 dollars for foundation and you don't even know what foundation is start with the drugstore or the first time i started makeup i got all my stuff from dd's discount and i spent like 80 dollars, and that was including like a bag so do not start doing makeup with Fenty or Chanel or you spend a hundred dollars on foundation since you don't even know what foundation is. Start small. So get you a foundation, a concealer, highlighter, blush, lip gloss, very basic, right? Eyeliner, primer for your eyeliner and a eyeshadow, an eyeliner palette, preferably neutral or nude. I know everybody wants to do cut creases and tins across the boards, makeup, but sis, we're just learning. That is, <laughs> that's bachelor's degree. Oh, we're in high school makeup right now. If you cannot get eyeshadow and you 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 get blush, use your blush as, as an eyeshadow. Big fat, at, I'm a, we coming. Okay, so eyeliner palette, lashes and setting spray boom and some brushes and really you can you can learn with that and yes you can go somewhere and get all of that for less than a hundred dollars and even that sounds like oh my god a hundred dollars okay paying a hundred dollars once or paying keisha 75 to a hundred dollars every time you want to get your makeup did get it on corner they do all these places <laughs> take corner, uh, you get it on corner and make them payments now i will i will say that <laughs> I, me personally, when I get back into my makeup, I'm oh, Tony Child. I'm not going to buy all this stuff that I used to buy. I'm going to keep it so simple. And lashes, hey, if you don't wear the lashes, put on some mascara, okay? That's true. That's true. Because even with all I've learned, lashes is still the thing I struggle with. But um, do they complete a look? Yes. I have seen a full a full beat without it and with them. And it kind of completes the look to me. But, you know, to every, to each his own. Mm -hmm. However, oh, also, if you don't know how to do your makeup, mm -hmm. there are YouTubers. You say it again. YouTubers, right. you can go on YouTube and say drugstore. Uh, makeup tutorial for beginners. Actually, I when I first started learning, I made a YouTube playlist as I went, and there was one video that I used to turn her on as I was doing the makeup, and it would take me two hours. Now it's like ten minutes, fifteen minutes, boom, boom, boom. But when you start, it is gonna be a lengthy part. I'm trying to pull her video up real quick because I still got that playlist. Like I might just drop it in the comments mm -hmm. to share. I might as well. But um, let me see here. Yeah, anyway, I it, how to do makeup off of YouTube. That is that's period. Before I buying makeup, I used to watch them all the time, and I was just so excited to see yeah. how they do different things with the makeup. Okay, um, because people will argue on social media when they see somebody wearing makeup and they nose would look different. And they'd be like, no, nah, they she went and got her nose done. No, it's called it's contouring. contouring. It's con if you can contour, girl, if you can contour well enough, you can have a whole chin lift, face lift, <laughs> nose so people, job. Like when you put one color all over your face, uh -huh. your face is not flat as a pancake. So you got to bring dimension back into your face. So that's what the contouring is doing. You don't have to get that dark, dark yeah. uh, color. You can get something very subtle just so you can bring the structure back into your face. Big facts. So I just dropped um, a link. This is the one I used to turn her on and go step by step. Uh, what you want to look, her name is uh, Maya Galore. She's a famous um, YouTube, you know, black female makeup artist. 
Um, that's M A Y A G A L O R E. And her makeup for beginners is what I dropped in the comments. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to try to go back and put that in the link. But look for makeup for beginners, full face makeup for beginners. And I know when I first started, I was right there with you. I want to do the cut creases. I want to do like, what do we No, I want to do the, 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 the boom, boom, boom. No, no. Worry about that last. The time will come. No. <laughs> the time with will me, come. I prefer, and I'm not trying to make, make, make any kind of, I prefer to watch people that's more my complexion. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is because when they will choose the color shade and they got to have the same undertone, I can just go and get the stuff. I don't have to worry about now I got to try to match this and match that. Uh-uh. I watch Andrea Renee because Andrea Renee is the person that is more of my skin complexion. Right. So I will go get the makeup that she gets because okay. I know that it will work, work better on my skin tone because a lot of people don't realize uh, liquid liquid foundation is has different undertones. So if you have yes. a yellow undertone, uh, a green undertone, olive, they call it olive, olive undertone or whatever, you need to know what your uh, your undertone is. I have right. yellow. That's that's the only reason why I say with your first set of makeup, I would go in store. Like I would, yes, they do have tests you can take online. Like I think it's Il Maquillage. They have tests you can take, and you can put your face in a photo and they'll line it up. But it's maybe I'm old school. It's something about yeah, putting that on your wrist. Anyway. Yeah, it's something about putting it on the I wrist and making sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really want to put it in my face because a lot of people right because because people have been touching well, it. <laughs> You do what's necessary in the moment. Now, I also will right. tell y'all, if you are wanting to get your makeup done for something, um, I think Ulta do it. Yeah. I don't know who else do it. They'll do your makeup for you, but you got to buy, buy a product or some sort like that. It's been a Fashion fair. I think like JCPenney, they used to do. Um... But I think Ulta do it too, because a young lady did my very first makeup look, like glammed up look, I got it done in Ulta. Well, she black though. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know, cause like you said, okay, because some of these, you know, if they if they don't seem like they cater to you, save your hundred dollars or save your seventy dollars, cause you're gonna be looking casket ready. I mean, <laughs> no, she was she was she was she looked like me. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because hell nah for me, you ain't finna have me spending my money. Be see you at the crossroads. I think not. <laughs> See you at the crossroads. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> you gonna be no she did. She showed me, she told me different tips and tricks and stuff because people don't realize with makeup, you gotta be like, if you got uh, large pores, you gotta make sure you do certain, wear certain stuff. If you have dry skin, you need a different type of uh, primer uh, and yeah. If you got oily skin, different, you know, you have to do what's best for your skin, but Facts. if not as complicated as some people think, it's just that you it's just not. gotta start. Just you gotta start. start. You gotta start. And there's nothing wrong with, if you gotta start at Dollar General, start there. Use the tester, put it against your skin, because what you don't want to do, you can get by with a botched makeup job if it match. And that stuff can be beat to the nines, and it be the wrong color, and you looking like, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know what I'm you can, you can, and sometimes Wal, I think Walgreens and CVS sometimes they do have sales a lot on on yeah. the, um, in a beauty area a lot. So what we're saying mm -hmm. is, you can start with Wet and Wild. It doesn't have to be Il Maquillage mm -hmm. or Fenty right off the bat because sis, you don't know nothing. You're gonna be doing a lot of wiping off and putting on and wiping off and putting on. So save that for when you get your skills up. Then you can treat yourself to some Fenty and support Miss Robin. But you no. You done got the wrong shade and you just happy to be starting. No Fenty, no none of it. Never. I will, I do plan on treating myself to some Fenty cuz it is quality. It is it is it is good. My mama got Fenty and every time I visit her in Shreveport, I use her Fenty. <laughs> I do. I ain't going to lie, but um I think that's all I have. Yeah, so but find you a YouTuber. Look for beginners makeup looks. Save the cut creases. Save the glittery eyeshadow. Start with a basic beat and learn how to do that yourself. And then you can build on. 
Like I, when I started, I didn't even know. I now do FF make, FX makeup. I do cosplay makeup. But all that started was just a basic learning how to make myself look cute without having to pay my eighty dollars. And so you never, and you might mess around and find you a side hustle. Most of the women I know that are MUAs started with just wanting to make themselves look cute. Mm-hmm. So don't be ashamed of that. Okay, so that's all I have written down for makeup. All right. Um, I I guess we can talk a little about a, a little bit about the body yaddy yaddy. We're women. Uh, we've given birth. Some of us have. Some of us haven't. We live in a society that's very, very hard on us um, when it comes to our bodies. Um, you can be too thin. You can be too fat and roly. You could be. You know, it's it's ne- it's a never ending, non winnable cycle. But while you're in it, you might as well feel and look your best. So um, I know for me now being plus size once having not been it is a transition like you've been thin most of your life and now you give birth and you're heavier set it's something to get used to um i think people are being a lot more open than they were like once upon a time if you got like i don't know if y'all remember the clark sisters what was her name mm-hmm. not karen was it karen clark remember she got a gastric bypass surgery and they used to just never say directly what she had they always would just say she had health related so it was very taboo it was very taboo to say you got weight loss surgery we like now we know that's what she had but for years they would never really say it and so now it's a it's a way it's way more common to meet someone in real life who's had a bbl or has had plastic surgery or had, you know whatever and not that i'm saying go get you a bbl in fact um bbls are quite pricey <laughs> they are quite pricey you're welcome Miss Taylor. Oh, thank you uh thank you miss taylor for joining so um Let's say you're kind of in between or you're doing your gym girly thing and you still want to go out with the ladies, but you're not quite at the, you know, at where you want to be. Um, Amazon has shapewear. And um, even shapewear for the ladies that feel like they're too skinny. You want to get a little hips and butt. They have padded butts. They do. Ain't no shame in that. Like, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say we got to stop as women mm-hmm. because a lot of these a lot of this size stuff has pit us against each other. All right. You know, uh, heavier set women talking about skinny women, skinny women talking about heavier set women. I my weight fluctuate. Yeah. I go up and down, up and down. But I have I remember um somebody I used to hang out with. When we would go out in the stores, she would always point out like the stuff for skinny girls. She would mm-hmm. always point out uh the swimsuits and stuff oh you can wear that you can wear that honey i may be the size to wear it but i ain't got you know i got the i got the pooch i got you know yeah. i wasn't i didn't want to wear it i was yeah. like that's why i don't have that i'm not going to put that on no just because i'm slim does not mean i can wear everything i don't right. know where people get that from so i used to tell them where well, i see myself with my clothes on so i know what i look like and i ain't putting that on <laughs> right you don't have to wear every like a part of part of this whole thing um feeling and looking your best is okay you have to know your body everything just because mm-hmm. like you're saying everything that's for thin women it may not look right for your shape there are different shapes it's like pear trying you have to look them up i'm sorry i should have been better prepared but there are different shapes um know your shape and cater to it even while mm-hmm. you're on even if you're on a journey to changing your shape know what shape you have right now and cater to it until you get where you are going for me high-rise jeans is better that's just high-rise jeans they make the butt sit up nice and they and they tuck away the they tuck away the belly you know what i'm saying they they sit the booty up nice y'all hear that smack that's me and they put the and they put the belly away so i mean i love me some high-rise boyfriend jeans i love those you know and um but the crop tops, I, I personally, not for me, but there are plus size women who wear them and look great in them. They have a pair of shape or they have a shape that caters to that. My shape yeah. is that. So now, know I your shape. There are some um, plus size women who who just got it. They just bam, bam, bam. And I just right. Um, oh. <laughs> and then I put the I put it on and it's like, what's going on here? So <laughs> What happened? That's the, same, the same issue with me. When I see a slim girl wearing something, I'm like, dang, I didn't wear that because I got this. And you know, some people feel like because you don't want to wear something 
that somebody is wearing that you insecure. No, I'm not insecure. It's just that it's not for me. Yeah, I see it. I yeah. know I'm wearing it, so you could be talking about me. me too. <laughs> So, um, shapewear is available. You can actually get a Faha, which is what the women wear after they get the BBLs. You can get one of those for like $75 on Amazon. It's like having a BBL, except not actually having one. And it has the padded butt and the secure top and everything. So, invest in that. If, if surgery, if A, you're not comfortable with surgery, or B, your money ain't quite right just yet for that, get you a Faha. Get the padded butt. I mean, it is what it is. It's about, you only have one life. It's about you feeling comfortable. I don't even necessarily think that means you're insecure. And I don't, even if it's something you don't like, let me just reiterate for the women that's watching. Like, you're not a bad person if you don't like your belly. That is your body. I don't, you don't have to like it. But don't hate yourself for it. And if you're going to get it changed or get or get your, you know, or do whatever you got to do to make you happy. I think Joyce Meyer said it best. And she's a whole pastor. She was like, I, she wanted to get a facelift. She talked to God about it. He was like, well, it's your face. And there's that. And <laughs> she got her facelift and went, <laughs> and went on about her business. And, and was it a problem? You know, was it something her husband was encouraging? No. Was it something her children were insisting? It was something she did for her. So if you want to do these things for you or if you're not quite comfortable for you, don't, don't think that makes you a horrible person that hates yourself. You're a human being. Like childhood, I mean, not childhood, but childbirth, stress, the changes of life, hormones, it does things to a woman's body, period. Yes. And then those things that, that affect your body affect you mentally. Facts. And, you know, I for sure have, even though most people be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, look, I go through things too because I have a problem. I have a, issue, a condition that affects me every day yep. and I can't do everything I want to do. So my confidence level is always up and down, up and down or whatever. Right. So by all, I just wanted to make, I just wanted to put that out there. This is not that type of place where if anybody like, oh, you want to get surgery? Uh, you hate yourself, love yourself. No, <laughs> miss that's your body. And if you got the money for the BBL, get it. I know, I, I it's so it's so refreshing meeting women in real life because like I said, it used to be very taboo. I have met women who have had gastric bypass, who have had BBLs, and you can see the look on their face. You can see the happiness. Nobody knows what it feels like to be three hundred pounds, and then that person is one fifty. Let them have that. I'm not finna be, oh, she's a, she didn't love herself. Maybe because she did love herself, that's why she did that. She yeah, wants to be able to look her best. Issues. And the thing is, when they lose weight, they still gonna have to go get surgery. It's it's an uphill home. battle for sure. That's not the end by any so, means. So how heavy they were because of all the ex excess skin. Yes, it's, it's definitely, I, you know, that's why I stopped judging when I would meet women who had surgeries because we assume it's just some easy choice and you just did it because you're vain mm -hmm. and because you want men. If we be honest, and I know this is off topic, but most niggas do not give a fuck. Like, <laughs> men, men do not care about them. Some. Now, of course, we live in a society that's very patriarchal. And yeah, you gonna hear the same people that say they hate BBL bodies clown Lizzo every time she posts something. <laughs> And that's what I'll be understanding. Every time Lizzo makes a post, past, she's a fat bee. Every time one walk past, you eyeball it. And she got the big butt and the slim waist and she walking and that lace front and all that kind of stuff. But you over here talking. That's why that's why I don't listen to men about nothing they got to do with women. That's why I don't listen to them, period, because you cap, you cap all day. Y'all, we hate a fake plastic BBL. Who you think, man? Kim Kardashian, billionaires. Man, Nick. <laughs> Another subject for another day. But what I'm saying is, if you are if you are doing anything to yourself for the attention of men, don't. Because in real life, men do not care. I have never met a man that's like, oh, you too fat for me. Um, <laughs> like, or vice versa. Even when I was really thin, like, don't even let that be a factor. If you are not comfortable or you are not happy, then you take the steps you need to to, to do better for you. And if you can't afford surgery right now and you, you're you doing your gym thing, first of all, more power. Power to my gym girlies. We in it together. And it is a struggle. It's a struggle to go to the gym for months and you not see the changes you want to see. So maybe you are considering surgery. Or for my ladies out there, since we are talking about on a budget, if you're, I'm not surgery ready. That's I'm not quite there yet. So what I did do was go to my PCP and get referred to a nutritionist. Start there. They may have safer alternatives like um, medications or, um, you know, things like that that curb your appetite. 
you know, we hear about we groovy and what's it called mesoprec and stuff like that. I, you know, talk to your doctor about those things. Now, to my understanding, we groovy and a mesoprec is very expensive. That's what I heard. So, um, you might look at the damn BBL if, <laughs> if it's two thousand dollars a refill, you know. <laughs> But um, there's nothing wrong with getting with your doctor and being, and that's why I think it's best for women of color to have women of color doctors, because it's hard to look at a white man and tell him, look, sometimes I just don't feel and look my best. And, you know, a woman, or even a, just a woman doctor, she would probably better understand where you are coming from. You know, this little pooch makes, you know, because most doctors just want to make sure you're healthy. Okay, I am healthy, but now let's talk about this weight. Or now let's talk about how I'm not gaining any weight. Being too skinny is a thing. Like, like I said, mm-hmm. the same people that say they hate BBL bodies also talk about Corey Lay. What's her name? Corey Benzino's daughter. They call her mm-hmm. Bones and say she's too skinny and all types of stuff. I have been I have been on both ends of the spectrum, and I got the skinny jokes way more than I did the fat jokes. So you have to do what works for you and what makes you happy. Get a doctor that will listen to you, because some people will just take your money and give you a botched BBL or not care about your life or none of that, and because they just want the money. Always talk to your PCP first and get you a PCP you can trust, period. Mm-hmm. That you can be honest with and vulnerable with because they're gonna they should not want to steer you in the wrong direction. But um in the meantime, if those things are out of your budget, Faha, Amazon. <laughs> Butt pads, Amazon. <laughs> Patty bra, Amazon. Ain't nothing wrong with none of that. So um also part of and we were talking about this off camera before we started part of being a baddie or feeling your best and looking your best is also mental health that is important and i do know a lot of mamas a lot of women out there that feel like they cannot afford therapy and that's very real um now i know um me and my cousin well me and miss davis were talking about this off camera i was able to use medicaid to see a therapist you have to find therapists who accept medicaid in your state but that is a real thing. There are there are therapists who will either see you self-pay, which means you just pay per session, some as cheap as $60. And you can go through Medicaid. Now, um, once I got my new job <laughs> and I had to let Medicaid go, you know, then you have to use your um, health insurance through your job. But uh, there may be a copay. Hmm? What's that oh. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Kathy. <clears throat> you may have to use your, um, you know, your insurance to your job. And there may be a copay because it's considered a specialty, but your health is worth it. If you can spend forty dollars on um, DoorDash, you can spend forty dollars on your mental health. Ladies, there's no point in being fine if your mind ain't right. <laughs> but for real though. Okay, and back to the health stuff. Um, for my glasses, girlies, both me and Miss Davis are glasses, girlies. Look, if you want just cute, fashionable glasses. I think Girl, these, do you want me to confess to you right now? These were like eight bucks on Zulu. Fun uh, fact. Fun fact. I don't wear glasses. Oh, so you're a fraud. <laughs> this is Blu-ray. <laughs> Blu-ray all day, baby. Like I'm a DVD all- player. <laughs> <laughs> what do they even mean? Okay, for my for my <laughs> Fraud, y'all, y'all heard it here, right? For my actual, for my actual blind baddies like myself, these here, look, look, look. I just got these, maybe twelve dollars. From where? Um, the website is Zilu. It's Z. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. I, yeah, I got to give me some of them now. <laughs> so for my ladies that actually need prescription glasses, look at. <laughs> Here is how you get the cute glasses for the low low because you're gonna get that eye insurance through your job. That's three, four dollars a month that you could be saving. If you look at your health insurance, you probably get one free eye exam per year. Use it. Here's the thing when you go to get your eye exam, they're gonna try to make you buy glasses there. Don't because all the glasses is ugly AF anyway, and then they're overpriced. All you need is the prescription. Go to a website, a website like Zilu. That's where I got these glasses I just showed you. Put your, find you some bomb cutie cutie glasses, some cutesters. If you gonna be blind, you might as well be cute and blind. Find you some, that, they're a good one too. Boo Glam is good. I have a couple of homegirls that use them. Now, because I got a bigger head, I have to have a, I have to go somewhere where they have wide glasses or else I gotta get men's glasses. So, but all you need is your prescription. Find the frames. 
and then you make the adjustments, put the prescription in, and here you are paying what twelve dollars for a super cute pair of glasses. If y'all look real close, look at that, that's cute, ain't it? When if you go to Walmart, not only are they trying to jip you for days, <laughs> make you pay two hundred dollars for those Bob the Builder ass glasses that ain't even cute. <laughs> So, so call your HR department or call the uh, number on the back of your health insurance card and see if you get a free eye exam. Because if not, you're going to have to pay for an eye exam or else you're going to have to get, um, you know, eye care. What do, you, what do you call it? I don't even get it because I'm not. I got it one time when I got my first real job. I got eye care along with my health insurance. And that's it's, it's not it's not that expensive. It can't be more than $10 a month. But still, that's $10 you can pocket if all you need is the prescription. Thank you, girl. If all you need is the prescription to get contacts, to get glasses, you do not need to be paying every month for some eye insurance. I'm going get to get the prescription. whether I'm prescribed or not. I mean, this is for the girlies that really need them to see at night and to drive. Uh, not- <laughs> I'm trying to keep from having to wear them. That's why I got them. I look at computers and TV screen. I mean, uh, phone screen all day because I work on social media. I, so, look, nobody would have known if you didn't say nothing. Hey, I, I just like to be honest. Okay. Well, for my for <laughs> my actual, no what's I had like ten dollar copay for my eye exam. I don't. You know what? For the life of me, I don't understand copay. You pay all that money every month, and then you got to pay these people a little extra. Baby, I definitely me. think it's whack. I guess it depends. I don't, um, I don't even understand that situation. Like, I have Cigna uh, through my job. What health insurance do you have? If you don't mind me asking. We have Cigna. And Cigna comes with, or at least through our job, it comes with one free eye exam a year. Read that fine print, baby. Okay. She didn't say I thought she was going to say. But, um, you know, sometimes it takes a little while, girl. She probably, don't, she probably, it's on the way. But yeah, so for all, my ladies out there, if you're paying for health insurance through your job anyway, make it work for you. Get you a bomb doctor that you trust, preferably a lady doctor, one that you can talk about different women's health and things like that with. Um, get you a therapist that you trust that, I ain't gonna lie, all the therapists I have have been black women. She just put a Blue Cross Blue Shield, baby. Okay, hey! okay. <laughs> okay, ain't nothing wrong with the Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yeah, we have Sigma. And they do, so maybe uh, Blue Cross does not. But um, ours definitely includes that one. And I saw that fine print. I was like, hold up. Because they got me last time in my last job paying $7 a month. And I didn't yeah, need money. Money, nothing but the prescription. Nah, boo. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get comfortable. It's cold up here. I said bird. But I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so we dabbled on hair, how to keep your hair, you know, as best you can. Uh, also um, that, that ain't it. We got to talk about Oh, jewelry, of course. Pause, pause. I'm yep. That's what I'm here for. And I sure wrote jewelry down. Okay, ladies. And and, and guess what? And this is real talk. It's something about, even if I'm just going out with my hair up in a puff, putting on a little pair of diamond, no, they're not real diamonds, but a little pair of stud earrings will take you to another level. It's just yes. nice little something around your neck. It ain't got to be expensive, but it makes you look a little more polished and put together and it makes you feel a little bit better to have them accessories. You know what I'm saying? Also, speaking of accessories, Miss Davis, if you would like to go ahead and speak on your business really quickly. <laughs> So if y'all hadn't seen this big five dollars sitting behind me, <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know the price of my accessories, okay? Now I do have a other another line of jewelry which is twenty five dollars. My business name is Inspired Jewels, that's why it's posted there. Um, I am going to provide my link in the comments for you, ladies. So if you do decide you want to come and shop with me, it is available, okay? It's available right there. Now, um, I'm going to let you know that we have different styles of accessories. My business is multi-purpose, okay? Multi-purpose. So what I mean by that is I can sell different ways and uh, you can shop different ways. Now, you can get the jewelry for free or you can get it at a discount or you can pay retail price. I know people going to hear the word free and they don't want to jump on it. But all your free require is you to book a hostess party with me. 
Now, a lot of times when I say book a hostess, hostess party, sometimes people um, don't want to do that. But you can actually book a party during the time I'm already live. Okay. Hey, Dad. You can book a party. Hey, Greg. While, <laughs> um, book a party <laughs> while I'm already live. All you doing is creating an event. Uh, you get your people there, 10 person minimum there. I learned a lot in my last show. <laughs> I think. So I need a 10 person minimum. And every 10 piece sold in that live, you get a free piece and you don't have to purchase. You don't have to pay for shipping. You don't have to pay uh, taxes or anything on it. That's the way to get the jewelry for free. Also, I do Facebook Live. When I do Facebook Lives, some, sometimes I do giveaways. And all you have to do for the giveaway is all you have to be is register, like and follow my page, and spread the love to, to your page publicly. Okay. And we do drawings and we spin the wheel. Now, $2.75 is what we pay for the $5 piece. You can do that as well by becoming a discount shopper for only $20. Now, we do have a $99 offer. You can get 35 pieces with it of your choice. But the $20, $20 option, I feel, is great. This Mandel daughter. Huh? Your dad asked who I was. <laughs> I ain't trying to say her real name. Do you want to say her real name? You know who that is. Sonia is my aunt. <laughs> we are cousins. That's Carmen's sister. Yeah. But me uh Miss Davis, I do have a few questions for you. Since you are the expert on jewelry, can you kind of give us a few examples? Like we were talking about with clothes, how on pieces. What kind of pieces should ladies be looking for? Because sometimes you can't quite afford every piece. So what key pieces? Do you feel like bring outfits together that women should not, not only shop with you, but just look for in general? Well, it depends on what you're wearing and uh, and where you're going. Uh, Facts. You know, it's at this time of the year where people are getting close to getting ready to have weddings, baby showers. You got prom coming up, graduation. Uh, I don't know if they got military ball, I don't know when they come or whatever. It's All coming. <laughs> so, I always tell people I have the $25 necklaces and I can show you the ones I have. Those are the extravagant pieces, but you can also get $5 pieces and, and pay $25 and get you a set of earrings, necklace, ring, bracelet for $25 plus tax. I said, Uncle Greg. I said, hey, Uncle Greg. <laughs> I know who you are. You didn't know me. <laughs> So, uh, as far as your, now what I like to do, I'm simple and I know we have extravagant. I think there's different groups of, of jewelry girls. I'm a simple, like I said, I can do a diamond earring. If I want to get fancy, a silver hoop, I tend to gravitate towards silver. Um, uh, cause it just, it feels like it goes with just about everything. So what do you think like about that? So this is what I would say to you because I was always an earring girl. Okay. I never wore necklace, ring, bracelet, or anything of that sort. Um, this business has broke me out of that shell. Now I don't okay. have a necklace. I don't have a necklace on because it's just too much going on right here to put on a necklace. <laughs> now I probably could have put on a bold necklace to sit here, but I have on these earrings. I like those. Yeah. Um, the the ring matches is oil spill, and then yeah, I nice. have on oil, two oil spill braces. Um, but I would say that because my jewelry is five dollars. Or if you find something that's reasonable, try it out. The free option will give you the option to try out different things. Okay. I never knew about copper. I never knew about brass. I kept my stuff simple. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm a silver girl. Like I might yeah, do gold. I, I, I might I do gold. Did gold. Um, I would always do like if I had on that color, I would look for pieces with those beads on there with that color. I used to shop in um, Body Central. I think they used to have some kind of buy one. Buy, buy a certain amount and get a certain amount and that stuff, but it will always cost more. You know, um, I would pay at least $20 and I only got a, a small amount of jewelry. Yeah. So, uh, just to let y'all know, I don't only sell women's accessories. We sell hairpins, we sell necklaces. Our necklaces come with a matching pair of earrings attached to it. Um, mm. we, our ring 
These are very comfortable. So look at my ring. It's a stretch bag. So oh, I like you, that. You, I like that. Because them little, fingers. them other kind of rings that have like the little thing that you push, those were always uncomfortable as a kid. So I like that. You said oh, they got the, about the peach rings. The yeah, peach rings. that's now, why they call this, them that. Mm. This is great for if you have swelling in the finger. And this also gives you the option to wear it on different fingers. You know, okay. to stretch your back. And we do have men rings and everything like that. Uh, we do have clip-on earrings. We have ear cuffs, ear crawlers. Uh, we also have anklets, y'all. I'm an anklet girl. Even though I got some big old feet, I, I like me an anklet. They do make you, especially in the summer. We do have anklets. And I, yes. yes. Beaded, uh, chain, all that kind of stuff. Um, I would just say, like, when you are custom, custom to wearing a certain Love, she said, love urban wear for me and women. She's one. Actually, Miss um, Nelson, Miss Brenda, and Miss Kathy are all people who shop with me. And hey. Crystal. And Crystal. Crystal is a friend as well. But uh, Miss Nelson, she buys a lot of the men accessories for her husband and okay. also her son. Um, but all the ladies purchase the men accessories for themselves as well. Uh -huh. So <laughs> now my dad he does buy he does buy some of the pieces it also. But um if you're just stuck in one lane, like you say, silver oh, Dang, why well, hold on, why you gotta say it like that though? Why you gotta say I'm stuck in one lane? Hey, you talking about you with the glasses, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wow. Y'all, we just we joking. We're joking, movie. you guys. We're and you guys, like, make sure to click her link. She did put it in the comments and show some love if you want to look at um look at her, you know, look at her. What's the so, word? Um, just try, just purchase something of, of a different style, and you can always give it, bless somebody with it if it's if not you don't good. like it. Okay, that I, I, is why I get you. Five dollars won't buy. It won't hurt nothing. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, you're gonna have some some sibling anyway gonna come in there and look in there and see what you got. And, you know, and take it. Yeah. <laughs> so why not <laughs> you know, the extra stuff? So don't limit yourself to certain things. Just okay. try different things. Five dollars is not that much. But okay. like I said, you can be a discount shopper and uh, you can get this jewelry at retail price. My website, she said, I love our group of ladies. My, uh, my website is my online boutique of all the jewelry I have here. But I do want you ladies to know that uh, or guys, I'm not limited to you shopping with the pieces I have on hand. When um, I also have a website for the corporate office where you can shop there. Now that's a whole different thing yeah. uh, there. So I put that in there. <laughs> Thank but, you. Uh, they put um, we get new accessories Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time for the month of March promotion. They are also doing Saturday new releases. But customers get um, special privileges when you go on that site because okay. there are some exclusive pieces that we don't have access to. We may have seen them and missed them and didn't get them, so y'all have access to it. We still get the money. I know okay. a lot of times people prefer to shop with me uh, directly because they don't think I get the funds. But when you shop my paparazzi accessory site, that is another funnel of income. So okay. if I'm not making it here and you don't see nothing nothing you like here, you go over there and shop, I still get paid the same amount. The mm -hmm. only difference the only difference is the jury that is on hand, the jury that are on hand, I don't get the um the money for it until it's sale. Okay. The jury that you order on the site, they accumulated the funds for 30 days and direct deposit into my account. It's the yeah. same thing. Paparazzi takes a two dollars and seventy five cent. They charge you taxes and shipping depending on your state, and that is it. So it's the same thing. So get more bang for your buck and shop both sites, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. So, um, so ladies, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Before we move on from accessories, I, I like if it's just a shirt and some jeans, a choker. Yeah. You know, oh, a, a pair of earrings, a bracelet can really take it to the next level. So even if, okay, if maybe you don't want to do too much with clothing, learn how to accessorize because that can take a jean t-shirt look to the next level if you know how Girl, to do it. Right. You bitch is something that I always say 
in my life. She's my sneak peeks is her favorite. I do do sneak peeks. Mm. I should do. Let me show you something, okay? I'm going to show you something right quick. I think she dropped the link for the website again. Well, not again. It's um her direct website and then the corporate the website. website. The paparazzi website is my corporate website. So this oh, necklace. Oh, that's really necklace. cute. This is a iridescent necklace. It has bling. I also have it with the white rhinestone. It and that's five dollars or yes, this is five dollars. It comes with these earrings right here. Okay. Cute. You can wear this with a regular shirt and jeans. Or you sundress, ladies. Summer's yes. coming. You do not have to dress up. When people see things like this, they automatically assume you got to wear a glam outfit. You can bust on these earrings by yourself. Oh, I like those. Okay. I have some stretchy braces as well. Now, these are, this is three stretchy braces. Now, these are three braces on here. Stretchy mm -hmm. braces. Each bracelet is $5 plus tax. Okay. Now, what I, I always tell my ladies, sex is everything. So if you like me, when I gain weight, I gain weight in certain places. I gain weight in my upper arm, my stomach, my butt, and my legs. <laughs> so my upper, my upper arm always will look much larger than my wrist. If you have a larger upper arm, sex is good for you because in that way, the the illusion brings the eye down to the wrist. Also, oh. with necklaces, when you layer, because Miss Nelson, if you on my page, I post Miss Nelson. So if you ever seen the lady that has the hats on and all the dolls and her and her husband, that is her. She layers, baby. So layers. when you wear okay. your necklaces um, from long to short, or, or have, if you have it bold right here in the center, that gives a slimmer appearance. Hold okay? on, let me get my pen and pad now. Hold up. Yes, so, <laughs> appearance, honey. So, hold up. Yeah, hold on. One more time for the people. One more time for the people, aka me. So <laughs> if you do, <laughs> if you do layers, so start with a small necklace and get bigger or it's it's more so whatever you're doing to focus the eye down into the center. Got it. Okay. okay, so if you wear longer, if you just wear one long necklace, that long necklace focus the eye to the center. If you want to layer, it focus the eye to the center. It's like contouring. You yeah. basically oh, wow. It. I didn't think of it that way. Bringing the eye to where you want it to be. Okay. That's basically what you're doing. Because we don't look at your bling. But yeah. let, me you, let me show you this as well. Now, this is not $5, okay? But is this a stacked look or? This is a $25 necklace. Thank I will you. wear this with what I have on. I will wear this with a pair of jeans or whatever, even though it's $25. You can see something like this in the store and pay $50 something for it. I know $25 yeah. people run from it, but it's not bad. Okay. Yeah. All of our necklaces come with a matching pair of earrings to go with it, and it's still the same price. This is $25. This necklace that I showed you right here is $5 with the neck, the earrings attached to it. Now, these earrings right here on the on the tag is $5 itself. You that can get cute. this set for $10, okay? And I don't just have bling. So don't look at this and be like, well, I don't like all that blingy stuff. Okay, well, I have other items. Always ask. Send me a, a private message because you'll be missing out on some things that you love by yeah. just looking at what I show. I show what mostly sells. And every now and then I put some extra in me. But I mostly on Facebook. I do Facebook lives. Um the way I kind of do things is my first time shoppers, you are invoiced the same day. Then we do a full week of shopping. Mm -hmm. Now if the site is easier for you, that is awesome. That gets your orders in and out and I upload my new my new pieces there first anyway. So <laughs> when you go okay. on there, you get you get access to the new pieces, okay? Okay. I think that's all I got to say. I ship all over the U.S., y'all. So yeah. don't think because you don't live in certain places, I can't ship to you. I, ship I don't think places. we didn't got international just yet, but uh, <laughs> <Not> <laughs> well, for your mouth to God's ears, there might be somebody in Beijing listening. So um, definitely, um, if you're watching and you're interested in seeing some more of Miss Davis's pieces. 
definitely, you know, uh, either go to her site that she did, drop in the comments, or shoot her a holler or a personal message. We definitely want to support black business owners out here. And again, the whole show is about being a baddie on the budget. And I have brought pieces from her before. They are quality and they are cute. Um, I'm working on, like she said, getting out of my lane. For me, silver <laughs> is just a good go-to. You know, I got my little studded ear. If I want to get fancy, I'll do a pearl. Oh, oh that is so sweet. What'd you say? She is stuck with me and my family. <laughs> for real, for real. She's very consistent and she's very about her business for sure. So, um, so I'm going to tell you, the best thing you can ever do for me is pay your $5. Pay your $5 on time and we'll be great. That's all. And that's all. You spend that on a, on a McCheeseburger. <laughs> oh, and just to let y'all know, I only wear what I have in stock. So if you like what I have on, it is available. I do like those earrings. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work my way up to like dangles and I don't know. Like I'll do a hoop. I'll do a hoop. Buy it. Buy it. Get it. I'll consider. I will consider. Yes, sure. Our family is the best. Oh, see, y'all gonna get mushy here and y'all gonna have me cry on this podcast. And I ain't trying to be crying. I do that in my life sometimes, but. It gets, real, it gets real. It's, it's definitely dope to see that these ladies support you. So um, I'm glad that you have that for sure, for sure. And yeah. like the people that are watching on my live, if you did see any pieces that you like, support her. Like it's five minutes. It won't take long. It's five dollars, and the stuff gets there really quick. Um, hey, hey, you ain't got a purchase to go on my live now, and I, I don't want y'all to do that. I don't want. Can I say one more thing? Sure. <laughs> I want people to understand. That I don't do my lives for people to just buy from me. I do it because you never know how your day went. You know what I'm saying? Your day may have been, have been bad. The kids might have gotten on your nerves. Your boss may have gotten on your nerves. I'm trying to create a community of women, a tribe. You know what I I'm heard saying? That. Where yeah. people can come in and enjoy themselves, laugh when we need to, cry if we need to. Talk about food because I love talking about food and then talking about what's on TV or whatever. Lord. It's just not about me making a sale. Now I will say this here. I do need the sales because I don't have I don't have a job like uh Miss Courtney over there yet. <laughs> or oh, I'm not making I'm not making that big that big ching ching like she is, but Lord. <laughs> okay, I, but, but my day is coming. This yeah. is all, right now. This is the only income I have, and so, so I definitely support. Yeah, understand that while you're struggling, I'm struggling too, and I'm very transparent. You know, yeah. now I will say when it comes to my bit, my 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 invoice is not getting paid. We have a problem, <laughs> Houston. I do be like, okay, you need to shop the site because I am very um very loving when I package my my jewelry. I box it up nice and neat. I try to make sure that I send it off the best way I can, even though I my hands are not the only hands that's on. I right. pray over my people. You know what I'm saying? I pray over my hmm. people because you are pouring into my life. So I want to make sure I pour into yours. But Amen. I like to have responsible and respectable people. You, somebody, she's in there. I love the positive inspiration part that she puts in our paper. Yes, that is I sweet. Do. <laughs> I put inspirational and motivational stuff in those packages because as a woman, it's not only what we do on the outside, it's what we do in the inside that Facts. makes us supposed to do what's Facts. on the outside. Just for Courtney saying, let's do bad, uh, bad on the budget. I have been battling back and forth about getting up and getting dressed, you know, because I do lives all the time, but sometimes I don't have time to get cute. I would throw the wig on sometimes, the put my <laughs> hair back in the ponytail, throw on the cap sometimes. But when she said that, it made me get off my butt right, and put on these nails and think about what I'm going to wear to show up because at the end of the day, I have to feel good. Yeah. And, and that's I important. Put yeah. myself in that and push myself to do it. So you ladies, y'all come hang out with me, okay? Don't be, don't, don't act funny. Come on in and say, hey, you do not have to purchase not one piece to be there. 
Right. And I, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I'm definitely trying to create that same environment with my podcast. Um, even though it's been around for years, I never really did lives before. But I, I definitely want a place where people can come and chill, you know, on Sunday night and, and have a good show. And we don't just talk about BS. We talk about different stuff here. And this conversation was important to me because I have a heart for women. And I definitely know, like you said, I know what it feels like. And, and there are times when I am still at a place where you have to make decisions and you looking cute, your hair being done, um, <laughs> you getting a new outfit. You get, We didn't even talk about shoes. I hate we ain't got time to talk about shoes because that's important too. But you getting new shoes comes second, third, fourth, fifth. Like it is, it is even a factor because bills is due. You know what I'm saying? So this, this whole podcast was just around how to help you feel and look your best when maybe the money is tight because really you as the woman, you as the mom, you set the tone for the household, whether you choose to or not. And if you are depressed because your hair not done, sis, oh, come on, God. let's find a way I'm around that. I'm laughing at What they saying in the comments? Y'all cutting you up? You can't just say, I didn't think I could wear bangles because my hands are big, but I took a chance and I love them. Now, That's what's up? she said that because a lot of women don't, because their hands are big, they don't wear bangles. And I had to convince her. It was like pulling teeth. I said, honey, you can wear a bangle. Put a bag over your hand and slide it down. Oh, oh okay, okay. The bag. You know what I'm saying? Because big hands is 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 part on my on my side of the family too. I don't have big hands, but Oh, I can I palm a basketball. So I already told y'all I got big old hands for a lady. That's why I gotta get two pairs I'm of the press on nails. <laughs> I'm gonna right. help you get that. If you like that piece, if you like that piece enough, I'm going to help you make sure you know how to wear that piece. And if it's not for you, I'll be like, okay, well, now that's too, that won't fit you. I'll be honest with you. Okay. But she she did I'm not glad you said that. Bag. I'm glad you said that. So for the people that are watching, if you need a jewelry consultant, maybe you don't know what works best for you, hit her up because it's not, yes, you can buy from her, but it sounds like she definitely has expertise in putting you in pieces that would accentuate your features or accentuate things that you want, <laughs> you know, that, that for you as an individual probably need to be accentuated. So I absolutely love that. We actually are running out of time. We went over so much. If y'all ain't had y'all pencil and pad, ladies, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> if you didn't, I'm going to put it on YouTube. You can go back and get all the tips. If some comes to your mind and you want to go add a tip, add it in the comments on YouTube. Don't be shy. Come and subscribe because a girly is trying to get monetized. So if you get subscribed, you if you subscribe, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And of course, you can share it and things like that. But um, to the ten of y'all or how many ever people came through, I appreciate it. I, I you know, it, it really means a lot to me. And for the people that came here, Miss Davis, thank you for joining. Hopefully you'll follow and watch some of the other lives as well and vice versa for the people that are here that know me. Go follow her and show her some love because that's what it's all about. It's about women helping women be their best. And I'm trying to do my thing. She's trying to do her thing. So y'all help, you know, what what is a, what is a follow? It's free. And then we not coming here giving y'all no boo-boo content. This was a good show. Yes, like for real. You got some quality it. info for free. So. I appreciate you for doing this because um, I feel like this helps me do what I plan to do with my life. And that's to help, especially young women. That yes. was always what I wanted to do because um, you know what you know. My yeah. mom only knew what she knew. And the Amen. women, the other women around me only knew what they knew. So I, once I learned things, there's a lot of things I didn't know when I was younger that I know now that I want to share with other people. And right. then I can learn from those same people. Now I got a question. These comments is not gonna be on your YouTube. No, they're they're strictly gonna be on the Facebook Live. So, That's right. Uh, I need to plug my business. <laughs> Right. So uh, when I put it on YouTube, definitely come or just send it to me in a, a, a iMessage and I can copy and paste it and put it in the link for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she said, these comments are not going to be on YouTube. Yes, yeah. that's correct. That is correct. I don't know all this stuff and how this stuff works now. I'm finna, I'm about to learn myself because I'm outside. We're going to get it. Back, you know, YouTube now. I'm planning on getting on YouTube, but y'all make sure y'all like and follow me on Facebook. You can go to my YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe. So when I go ahead and start doing live there, you'll already be there. But make sure you register with inspiredjewels.com because whether you shop 
on the site or on Facebook, you will need to be registered. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Thank you for everybody that joined. And you guys, are, I like your crowd. They keep the comments coming. I, I can. Yes, I'm, I'm so used to people not really commenting. I have to keep looking. I'm like, oh, shit. I tell them that's the best way to get that algorithm going. That's why yeah. I agree with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm used to that, so I apologize when you're talking. I be greeting, hey, saying, hey. But no, I'm glad you did because I'm I'm looking, but I'm not really looking. Like I keep, and I'm so <laughs> obvious. I keep looking over here, but um, <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, if you did get something from this, or you think some other ladies will, you know, get something from it, like it and share it. Not necessarily just on YouTube, but on Facebook as well. Thank you for joining us, and God bless. Good night. Bye, y'all. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that likes to.